Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the solved problem based on the types of the DC generator part 1. Subscribe the channel for more videos. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. Link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the first problem. A 250 voltage 100 kilowatt separately excited DC generator has an induced EMF of 255 volt at full load. If the brush drop is 2 voltage per brush, calculate the armature resistance of the generator. The question is we need to find the armature resistance of the generator. Now we will see the data, what are the given data available and what is the diagram. So this is separately excited DC, DC generator. Separately excited means we have two main parts available in the DC generator, the armature, rotating part and field field coil is a stationary part this field coils are excited separately by the dc source so that is called a separately excited dc generator self excited means both are connected together armature and field this is separately excited so this is the rotating part armature this is the stationary part field winding which is excited separately by the dc source now we will see that this is rf is a field coil the current flowing through this IF, field current. In this rotating part armature, we have RA, armature resistance. The current flowing from the armature is IA. While going to the load, it is IL. So, IA is equal to IL, both are equal. Here, the generated EMF is given as 255 voltage. The voltage available outside is 250 voltage. So, after the drop, 255 after some drop remaining 255 voltage is available at the load end. So we will see the data. So V equal to 250 voltage. Terminal voltage is 255, 250 voltage. But the generated voltage is 255 voltage. The power output is 10 kilowatt. That is 10 into 10 to the power 3 watts. The brush drop is 2 voltage per brush. So, there will be minimum of two brushes are available. So, this is a brush 1 and brush 2 for we, we need we, we need a minimum two brushes. So, the total brush drop is nothing but two voltage into two brush that is equal to four voltage. Right? We need to find the resistance Ra. Our aim is to find the resistance Ra. Now, we will go to the description. Output power is given. So, P equal to V into IL. Terminal voltage into load current. So, P equal to V into IA. Because IA equal to IL. We clearly given in the diagram. The current coming from the armature is equal to load current. Both are equal. So, from this equation we can find IA equal to P divided by V. Power divided by terminal voltage. The power is given as 10 into 10 to the power 3. 10 kilowatt divided by the terminal voltage is 250. So, by dividing this we got 40 volt, 40 ampere. The armature current is, is equal to 40 ampere. Our aim is to find the resistance. So, we will go to this equation. The generator for separately excited DC generator, the generated EMF is equal to the voltage available at the load end, armature resistance drop plus brush drop. Right? So, the generated voltage is converted into mostly this converted into terminal voltage but some of the voltage is dropped across the armature resistance some voltage is dropped across the brush drop so this is a basic equation for separately excited dc generator so from this we can you can write it as eg minus v minus ia ra minus brush drop equal to zero right we'll bring this ia ra in the right hand side so, Eg minus V divided minus brush drop equal to Ia Ra. So, that we can write Ra equal to Eg minus V minus brush drop divided by Ia. Right. So, from this basic equation after simplification step by step, finally we got the armature resistance is Eg minus V minus brush drop divided by Ia. So, all these values are available. The generated voltage is 255. The terminal voltage is 250, brush drop we calculated 4 and the armature current is 40 ampere, that is now we calculated. So, by simplifying this value we got Ra equal to 0 0.025 ohm. 
armature resistance is 0 0.025 ohm. Now we calculated the armature resistance. Now we will go to the second problem. A DC series generator. So this problem based on the series generator has an armature resistance 0.5 ohm and series field resistance RAC series field resistance 0.03 ohm. It drives a load of 50 ampere. It has 6 turns per coil and a total of 540 coil on the armature and is driven at 1500 rpm. Calculate the terminal voltage at the load. So the question is we need to find the terminal voltage. Assume 4 pole lap type winding. The flux per pole is 2 milliweber and total brush drop is 2 voltage. Right. So this is the data. We will see the data as one by one. Armature resistance is 0.5 ohm. Armature resistance is 0.5 ohm. Series field resistance RSC is 0.03 ohm. The load current is 50 ampere. The speed is 1500 rpm. Number of pole equal to 4. Lab binding so that uh, the number of parallel path equal to number of pole that is equal to 4. In case of lab binding, the number of parallel path is equal to number of poles. The pole is given 4, it is so that number of parallel path also 4. The brush drop is 2 voltage. So, it is given total brush drop. So, the brush drop of both the brush is 2 voltage. The flux is given 2 milliweber. So, that 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 weber. 2 milliweber so that it is milli means 10 to the power minus 3. The number of turns per coil is 6 total number of coil is 540 right our aim is to find the terminal voltage at the load now we will see the diagram so in this series connector generated mean armature and field both are connected in series so this is series generator the important uh, part is the armature rotating part which is the field stationary part both are connected in series so that is called a series generator right this is a load terminal the EG is the voltage induced in the series generator. RA is the armature resistance. So, this voltage generator induced in the series generator is EG. Now, we need to see the current. The current flowing from the armature is IA. The same current is flowing through the series field, ISE. The same current is flowing through the load also. So, the current through the current from the armature, series field and load all are equal all are same because of series circuit ia equal to isc equal to il all are equal right now we will see the we will go to the topic number of conductors equal to 2 into number of turns z equal to 2 into t so that is a formula now one number of turns equal to number of turns per coil into number of coils right so these two data are available number of turns per coil is available that is 6 the number of coils available as 540. So, multiplying this, the number of turns is 3240. Right? From that, we can find the number of conductors. Number of conductors is 2 into T. So, because two sides available, so number of turns into 2 will give the number of conductor. So, 2 into 3240, so the number of conductors equal to 6480. So, the number of conductor Z is 6480. This number of conductors not given, but number of turns per coil, number of coil is given. From that, we can calculate the number of turns. From the number of turns, we can calculate the number of conductors. Now, we will go to the next parameter. So, for a series generator, generator, the generated EMF is equal to terminal voltage plus armature resistant drop as well as series resi series field drop ra and rsc ra refers the armature resistant rsc is the series field resistant so both are connected in series so that we can add ia into ra plus rsc plus brush drop right so the generated voltage is converted into terminal voltage and drop across the armature and drop across the series field then drop across the brush so from this we can write V equal to EG minus IA RA plus RSC minus brush drop, right? So, this EG is, this V is kept here. These three terms are brought in the other side. So, that we got like this. So, 
we can calculate the terminal voltage by using this formula. So, IA, RA, RSA, all the values are available, but EG is not available. So, we need to find the EG, generated EMR. For that, another formula available. Pi N is a divided by 60 into P by A. So, these data are available. From that, we can calculate EG. By using EG and other value, we can calculate terminal voltage. Right? So, Pi is nothing but 2 milliweber. So, 2 into 10 to the power minus 3. Number of conductor, just now we calculated 6480 into the number of speed, speed, speed of the generator is 1500 divided by 60 into number of pole is V4 and number of parallel path also 4. So, by simplifying this we got 324 voltage, the generated voltage is 324. By using this we can go for a terminal voltage. So, for series generated IA equal to IL equal to 50 ampere, both are equal. Armature current is equal to load current that is equal to 50 ampere. So, V equal to EG minus IA RA plus RSE minus breast drop. Just now we framed this equation. Now, we can substitute the value. So, the EG we calculated 324 minus the armature current is 50 ampere. So, both are equal. Load current is equal to armature current. The armature resistor is 0.5 and series field resistor is 0 0.03 minus total brush drop is given 2 voltage. So, by simplifying that we got 295.5 voltage. The terminal voltage is 295.5 voltage. So, in this video we discussed two problems. One is based on the separately excited DC generator. Second one based on the series generator. Subscribe the channel for more videos. The soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you.